Hey everyone, Effie here. Today is the first day of our 12 days of DIY Christmas video series. This is the first video out of two that I'll be posting today. And I'm gonna be making this gorgeous holiday card using our layered floral alpha bundle set which is a two nine by 12 inch stamp bundle. It does not include the dies. But they are available for purchase separately. And what's great about this bundle is that each stamp block basically stamps the entire layer for all 26 letters. So that first layer will stamp your base letters and it will stamp all 26 letters at once. And then each additional layer has its own block which will stamp all portions of the 26 letters at the same time. So when you're done stamping your five layers, you'll have these beautifully multi-toned or multi-colored floral letters. So here I'm stamping the fourth layer and now I'm stamping the fifth layer which actually comes in two stamps. You can actually trim off a portion of one of the stamps so that you can fit both halves at one time on your Misty or other stamping platform. This way you can ink both stamps at once using your darkest green ink or whatever ink you choose and you can stamp this layer at once just like this. And here is my finished stamped panel. One great way to stretch your stamps during the holiday season is to use your non-holiday stamps for your holiday cards. And one easy way to do that is to use a Christmas or holiday color palette. And that means using those deep or bright reds and greens in your collection or coloring in your images those really festive red and green colors. So as long as you coordinate your non-holiday stamps with these Christmassy or festive colors, uh, you can easily turn any non-holiday stamp into a Christmas or holiday themed project. Now back to this project, I actually stamped out my letters twice using the same color palette and I spelled out the word merry and joyful. For this card in this video, I actually only end up using the merry. I'll use the joy or joyful portion in another project. So now I'm just going to stamp some additional holiday elements. These stamps are from our Holiday Cones stamp set, which is a layering stamp set. It features three different types of pine cones. Actually, not three types, just three different perspectives of pine cones. So for the first pine cone, I stamped it in the first, second, and third layer. For the second and third pine cone that I stamped, I stamped the third darkest layer first, and then I stamped the first and second layer because it's easier to line up your stamps that way because these are clear stamps and you can see right through them. So it's easy to see that third darkest layer if you stamp that first. And I used our Coco Collection layering inks. And now I'm just gonna stamp some holly leaves in our Crystal Garden Collection inks. And again, I use that easy layering technique by stamping that third darkest layer first. Then I stamp the berry clusters, the first layer in Valentine Red. And then the second layer, I use our Aspen Cocoa Dye inks to add that shading to the red berries. That way you can actually see the shading and the contrast. Next, I stamped these pine branches from the same holiday cone set. I stamped that first layer in our bright fern, and then I started stamping the second layer in our Everglade moss, but I wasn't a fan of that color combination, so I switched off and used the basil mojito for the rest of my pine branches. Next, I stamped the actual wood or branch portion of this image in our aspen cocoa. Next, I took the additional pine branch images from the coordinating outline set of the holiday cones and I stamped it in our basil mojito dye ink. Then I stamped our new mini dots background stamp onto an A2 size card panel and I stamped this in our caviar hybrid ink. And now I'm gonna start assembling my card. You can see that I have my arrangement already thought out. I cut everything using my brother's scan and cut and now I'm just going to start arranging all the elements 
And once I'm satisfied with the placement, I'm going to pop everything up using dimensional foam tape. For my sentiment, I'm going to start off by popping up that middle R, and then I'm gonna continue to pop up the rest of the letters. And I start off with that middle R to make sure that the sentiment is centered on my card panel. At the top portion of my screen, you can see some smaller holiday elements. I have some holly leaves and some berry branches, and they're from our other holiday stamp sets, like our Folk Art Christmas Tree and our Wonderland Print stamp set. Those sets have some individual stamped elements that you can use to embellish your holiday cards. So I stamped them off screen and cut them all out with my brother's scan and cut. And now I'm just gonna use them for this card. In addition to using a holiday or Christmas color palette, you can also add holiday elements to non-holiday themed images to get that festive look. What I like to do is stamp these individual elements off and then cut them all at once using my scan and cut because it's just so much easier to cut a page of these smaller elements than to die cut them one by one. Once I have a bunch of these smaller leaves and berries and pine cones and whatnot, once they're all cut out, I put them into an envelope to save them for future projects. This way when I need them, I can just pull them out and stick them on as needed and I don't have to go and stamp and cut everything individually for each individual card. This makes the crafting process a lot faster because you have everything ready to use. Next, I'm just gonna add some of our gold medallion sequins to the top portion of my card and I'll add them in sections of three because the eye likes visual triangles. Lastly, I just added this sentiment strip and this is from our holiday sentiment printable and my card is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of our first 12 days of DIY Christmas video series. Be sure to watch the second video on how to stretch your non-holiday stamps to use on your holiday projects this year. And make sure you check out the blog post because we have our early Black Friday promotion going on now. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it weekly. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.